Welcome back to part two. Having a learning team, once again we're looking at the Digitech tools. This time it's the actual migration. Migration is something we only do once. It's like moving house, a bit of planning goes involved, a bit of stress on the day. We make sure it all happens smoothly by being careful and it's done. So moving day we started on our last staff um, meeting, which was about a week ago. The key essence here was the data migration on why we're doing introducing the three steps, the three teams, Team Blue. But the process has started and we've been supporting people through that process. But let's have a look at it, what it is. Currently you had our H drive, which is located here at school, accessible only when you're at this college. That has 10 gigabytes with the data. So these one of these little squares here represents one gigabyte. It was capped at 10 gigabytes, you couldn't have more than that. 80% of people actually had two or less gigabytes, but the maximum you could have had was 10. So if we have a look here, your H drive had 10 gigabytes, shown by those tiny little yellows and red squares. What's down there? All the staff laptops were re-imaged, refreshed and reset up during the holidays. All staff laptops had just over 50 gigabytes free of storage on them. So that's shown by the orange squares there. As you can see, the maximum of 10 gigabytes, but actually the average is under two, fits very nicely onto those machines. So it makes sense that you should have these files on hand anytime, wherever you are with your laptop, and they will fit very nicely on there now. When we have a look at what OneDrive gives you, it gives you a terabyte. So you can see the amount of storage space in comparison to what you've had before and what you've been using. It just means that there's no problem with any data that you want to keep any time. So when we compare what we had and what we were using, the two gigabytes most people are using, to the one terabyte that we have now, we want to make sure that you can always have any file that you need anywhere, anytime. As an example, here is a file, these three columns show the files that I've created in just making this presentation alone. So the whole bunch of files, not much use to some people. In fact, the only ones that will be any of use are these four here that will be the instruction guides and the presentation so that other people can look at it. So those four there, I've highlighted in green because that's where they're going to end up. They're going to end up in Servite Share later on after I've sorted out Servite Share, but the rest could be useful to me. So I'm going to keep them always in my OneDrive. So if I ever need a presentation like this again, or use these icons, pictures or information, I'll have access to it wherever I want. So that's one of the important things that people need to go through. Not drag and drop, there's an auditing process. Go through and check the files. Are they in some sort of logical order? Are they files I need? Are they put together so we can find everything? And if you've gone through and done that with your H drive, actually audit the files, check the files, look to the files. It may be a good time to go and have a look at the old global, specifically the student global. See if there's anything in there in the teacher to student section. Your sections in there, was anything you would like to keep, may be a good time if everything's working fine for you to bring it back over and put it into your H drive or more importantly, put it into your OneDrive so you can have it for when you need it again. Thank you, that's the end of part two from Digitech and the learning team.